Good afternoon. My name is Srihari S. Naidu. I'm the director of the Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory at Winthrop University Hospital in Long Island, New York. I'm also a past trustee of SCANI. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about an important document that uh, is being published shortly. It is the uh, Clinical Expert Consensus Statement on Percutaneous Ventricular Assist Devices in Clinical Practice. As you all know, over the past uh, several years, we have seen a birth of many devices in uh, heart failure to support the heart. And these include the intra balloon pump, uh, 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 new aspects of that pump, the impella pump, the tandem heart, and extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, some of which are portable pumps now. But it's become very hard for the clinician uh, to understand when to use these uh, different devices, when one might be superior to the other, uh, what clinical scenarios where there is evidence for benefit, and some practical guidelines to do that. The field as a whole has not been robust enough for full guidelines from the uh, uh, SCAI, ACC, and AHA, but we came up with an idea to come through with clinical expert consensus statement, as I mentioned, which will be published uh, very soon. In this document, we'll go through the different devices, uh, how they work, um, what the meaningful benefits of each one is. Uh, we'll go through different clinical scenarios where they could be helpful. Uh, we will go through uh, our recommendations on when one might be preferred over the other and for what reasons. We'll go through the data, both observational and randomized controlled trial. And we'll make some practical full recommendations towards the end that can guide both future research uh, and the practicing clinician on when and how to use these devices. We're also very proud that this uh, statement is being uh, sponsored and has been sponsored, but not just by SCAI, which is an initiating organization, but by the American College of Cardiology, the Heart Failure Society of America, STS, and the American Heart Association, among others. So I'd like to uh, encourage you to pick up this uh, article and this consensus document. It's the first of its kind, um, and it'll really add value to uh, uh, the clinical practice of interventional cardiology. Thank you.